Well, hello friends and family and anyone else who might be watching this. My name is Ginger and as many of you know, I'm a senior at the University of California, Irvine. And today is March 19th, 2020, meaning a year ago I was in South Africa studying abroad through UCEAP at the University of Cape Town. The following video is going to be a video of a day in the life of my experience at that university. However, I'm a bit late to posting it, obviously. I've had this video edited since August, just a couple of months after I got back, but I've been so busy since school started back up in September that I haven't had time to film this intro that I feel is necessary. But since the outbreak of COVID-19, my life has changed so much in the last week and a half. For example, as a senior at UCI, my time at the university is done. Never did I think um, at age 23, on my spring break of senior year, I'd be moving back into my childhood room at my parents' house, but here I am. You never know what God has in store for you. So with all that being said, I'll go ahead and give the context of my video. So I studied abroad from January to June for one semester there, or two quarters, since UCI is on the quarter system, I went for both winter and spring quarters. While I attended University of Cape Town, I took three classes. I took one class that counted toward my major, which I'm a history major, and um, which was history of South Africa. And then I took international trade and finance and film and media in South Africa, which was one of my favorites. So without further ado, here you go. Thanks for watching. This is my roommate, Justin. Our program placed us in this mint green Victorian house, just a 20 minute walk from campus with five Californian and one Aussie exchange student. Brace yourself for a classic Cape Town taxi. The good old UCT jammy that picks up at lower campus about every 10 minutes, I want to say. A wise person once told me, jammies are like boys. Never run after one, they'll always be another. Don't lose your stuff in the bus, guys, please! UCT boasts one of the most beautiful college campuses to the extent that several shows and movies are actually filmed here. Nonetheless, the interior of several buildings made me feel like I had been teleported back in time to the 70s, so I thought that was cool and different. This is my favorite bathroom, only because someone altered the sign as many of you know, Cape Town suffered from a terrible drought which was at its worst for over a year between February of 2017 to around June of 2018. Even though it rained a lot during my exchange, water conserving practices were still in full effect since dam water levels were below healthy. The most recent update from the city of Cape Town reported dam levels at 80.6% as of August 2019. If you're considering studying at University of Cape Town, I hope you like stairs. <laughs> Located at the base of Table Mountain, UCT has heaps of staircases. In fact, before I discovered the jammy, I would walk up about 15 flights of stairs just to get to campus. Another thing that contributed to the 70s feel on campus were the chalkboards. Not one of my lecture halls or discussing classrooms had dry erase boards. All right, just finished studying in the library for an hour. Here's my South African friend, Connor. I still have four more hours before my last class so I'm gonna go meet up with my roommates for lunch and to study some more. Next week are finals, so we're all locking down.
just finished studying for a couple more hours, so getting a snack at the cutest mom and pop stand in the Leslie Social Science Building. Uh, two from this one corny cheese, one double. Okay, thank you. That is 16, uh, So let's just pause here for a second. That sign says six ran for one samosa. That's less than 50 cents. I just got all this for 37 rand, so that's about $2.50. I usually don't buy this much candy, but it's nearing finals and I kind of use it to reward myself when I study good. I know, it's bad. <laughs> Connor! 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 Uh, yo! <laughs> hey Connor. Hello. I'm making a day in the life video today. That's oh, what I've been. <laughs> Thanks for watching my day at University of Cape Town. If you're considering studying here, please comment below. I'd love to hear about your study abroad plans. Moreover, if you have any questions, Feel free to post them below and subscribe for future videos about studying abroad in Cape Town. I highly recommend it. Studying abroad and subscribing. <laughs> Cheers! <laughs>